and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Hi everyone! You know, I was just in the park today and I saw a bunch of animals that I wanted to learn more fun facts about. This is where you come in. Okay, well, tell me what the animal is. I will give you three hints. They are great at climbing trees, they have huge, cute, bushy tails, and their name starts with an S. <laughs> is it a squirrel? Wow, you're good at this. Well, I love squirrels, and I have some fun facts about their cute bushy tails. Oh, do tell. Squirrels use their bushy tails for a variety of reasons. One, it's a built-in blanket that keeps them warm in the winter and provides shade in the summer. When jumping or falling, they use their tail for both balance and a parachute. Squirrel tails also work as a way to communicate. If you see a squirrel sitting still but wagging their tail, they're sending a message. The general gist is, stay away. <laughs> when a squirrel is upset or senses a predator, the tail works as a way to warn other squirrels in the area of danger. The tail is also used as a territorial warning to keep other squirrels away from their precious acorn supply. Squirrels are actually very talkative. They communicate with one another with many different sounds as well. They use a complex system of high frequency chirps. Along with those chirp sounds is always some bushy tail movement. Speaking of precious acorn supply, I heard squirrels pretend to bury a nut to throw off potential thieves. That's true. Squirrels like to plan ahead in order to survive the winter months. They store nuts and seeds at different locations in the ground and return to them throughout the winter to maintain their energy levels when food is hard to find. But other animals, including other squirrels, love to steal their hidden treasures. So squirrels have been seen engaging in what's called tactical deception, a behavior that has previously only been seen by primates. When squirrels think they're being watched by another animal looking to steal their food they're about to hide in the ground, they will pretend to dig a hole as if they're going to bury their acorn or nut, but they'll actually tuck their snack in their mouth and then go bury it somewhere else. These are intelligent little creatures. Are nuts all squirrels eat? Many people think squirrels are adorable herbivores, meaning they're an animal that only eats plants and live on a steady diet of acorns, nuts, and seeds. But actually, squirrels are omnivores. That means they eat both plants and animals. While it's true squirrels love nuts and seeds, they will eat meat if it becomes available. In the spring and summer, squirrels will eat insects and eggs too. On average, a squirrel will eat about a pound of food a week. Where do they live? I see cute squirrels everywhere. There is about 285 species of squirrels in the world, and they live on every continent except Australia and Antarctica. Tree squirrels typically live in wooded areas, since they prefer to live in the trees. Ground squirrels live up to their names. They dig burrows, a system of tunnels under the ground to live in. Some squirrels also hibernate in the burrows during the winter to keep warm. Flying squirrels make their homes in tree holes or nests that they build into the branches. To get tree to tree or from tree to ground, flying squirrels can't really fly, but they use the flaps of skin between their arms and legs to glide through the air. They can glide anywhere from 160 feet to 300 feet. That's the size of an Olympic-sized pool or a soccer field. Wow, very cool. Squirrels are awesome. Okay, now tell us fun facts about baby squirrels. Did you know that a baby squirrel is called a kit or a kitten? <laughs> And they are so tiny when they're born. A newborn squirrel or kitten is about an inch when they're born. Me. Mother squirrels are pregnant for about 29 to 65 days, depending on the size of the species. Human mothers are pregnant for about nine months. 
Mother squirrels give birth to about two to four babies at a time. The kittens are born blind and depend on their mothers for milk and safety for around two to three months. After that, the kittens leave the nest, but usually don't live further than about two miles from their home. Tell us another fun fact about squirrels. Squirrels are one of the few mammals in the world that can sprint down a tree head first. You may not be too impressed when you see a squirrel running down a tree, but they are actually accomplishing a major feat. Most animals can't climb vertically down head first, but squirrels' back ankles can rotate 180 degrees, turning their paws all the way around to grip the tree trunk and descend. Actually, squirrels were made for tree climbing. Their back legs are also double jointed, which gives them the ability to run up and down trees very quickly. They can also jump about 20 feet tree to tree. Squirrels can also fall about 100 feet down from a tree and not get hurt. Oh wow, that's impressive. I tripped on the sidewalk yesterday and really hurt my knee. Anyway, I heard a cool fact about squirrels the other day. I heard squirrels don't dig up all their buried nuts, which results in more trees. Yes! This brings me to my last point. These little mammals are a great example of when I say each animal is so important to the ecosystem in which they live. Tree squirrels are some of the most important animals around when it comes to planting forests. Though they may be careful where they bury their acorns and other nuts, they still forget or just never go back to quite a few of their nuts that they had stashed under the ground. When they do, those acorns sprout, resulting in more trees, and eventually more acorns for the squirrels and all other animals of the forests. This is why we should always love and protect all animals, no matter how small. It's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's always work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. <laughs> and now it's question time. Mm -mm -mm. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we just learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? Flying squirrels know how to fly like a bird. The correct answer is false. Flying squirrels don't really fly, they glide through the air using their flaps of skin between their arms and legs. What do squirrels use their tails for? Is it A. Balance B. Communication C. Warmth and shade or D, all of the above? The correct answer is D, all of the above. Squirrels also use their tails as a parachute if they fall from a branch. What is a baby squirrel called? Is it A, a cub? B, a pup? C, a kitten? Or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is C, a kitten. Well, Kaya went nuts for this episode, and you guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife. Bye, guys. Gonna miss you. See you next week.